Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Yoda from SegaDriven.com, and welcome back to our Sonic Hacking Contest 2018 coverage. In this episode, we're taking a look at Hellfire Saga by Narcologia. Now, um, this is an interesting little hack in that it transplants Sonic the Hedgehog into an environment that's more akin to uh, sort of hard as nails action titles like Castlevania or Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, it, it says on the title screen in particular that it takes inspiration from those games. And that means that Sonic is basically in a sort of horror-themed world where enemies are sort of uh, horrific and uh, sort of taken from, you know, what you'd expect from sort of B-movie cinema, I guess, uh, sort of horror films and the like. Uh, so you've got sort of like nasty-looking dogs and ghosts and ghoulies and whatnot. And when you defeat them, they blow up in a shower of like bones and viscera, essentially. And when, equally, when Sonic takes damage as well, he also uh, sort of uh, bleeds an awful lot as well. It's very sort of more combat. Um, the big thing in this is that it transplants the standard sort of health that you're expecting with a Sonic game, you know, collecting rings, and as long as you have a ring, you can take as many hits as you need. Uh, this, one, this game in particular has a health gauge. You have a HP percentage up the top there and every time you take a hit it takes some of that uh, HP gauge down um, which means you have to play this a little bit differently it's uh, it's more like I say a sort of action title where you have actual you know health gauge and you have to keep that under control as you're going through the stage you can't just uh, expect to pick up a ring again and, and trudge on it, it makes you play this in a much more yeah, action game style instead of a platform game. So yeah, I suppose that is interesting, and I think um, that's its real strength in that it is a Sonic game that plays differently just by changing up the mechanics somewhat. Um, but I'm not convinced that you really should be putting Sonic in a sort of horror-themed environment. It doesn't really suit the character, to be honest with you. It just it just looks really sort of goofy and a bit like yeah, like it doesn't fit. Um, and we've said this before in other horror themed sort of fan games as well that it's just it, 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 I, if you're going to go to all this effort to put Sonic in an, a, a, a horror environment then why not just change the character as well so that it suits the environment as well instead of you getting instead of getting this weird mismatch of styles i think if they if they even even created a fan character or something that was more in keeping with this visual style i think it would um, basically help this an awful lot um, at this, I just don't think that Sonic really should be in an environment like this. I don't think it works too well, personally. But that's not to say that this isn't without merit. Like I say, I think the change of mechanics makes this play a lot more... just Well, just differently, essentially. Like you, you have to approach it in a different way, and I think that's very interesting. I just don't think it suits Sonic the Hedgehog particularly well. Um, visually as well, the first stage, the Forest of Decay stage, looks fine. I don't mind that at all. It's just sort of a sort of grim, dark-looking green hill, almost. But the second stage, um, I'm trying to remember what that was called now, Sin City or something like that, um, that sort of rips the um, environment from Spring Yard Zone and puts this really sort of like gnarly, gory background on it. And I think it's quite ugly, to be honest with you. I, I don't think that's a very pretty looking stage at all. A real shame, to be honest with you. I think the, the, the theming, the horror theming that they're going for here really could have... Um, just had some really interesting looking stages you could have really gone to town with this and made things looking really different and unique but at, as, as it currently stands it's very, it's very much just existing Sonic stages made to look a bit grim dark and I don't think it works particularly well I think you really need to design the game to look around your theme a lot better um, like I say I think if you'd have changed Sonic out for a character that actually feels like he, does, he should be in this game you also need to do the same thing with the stages as well. There's only so much you can do with changing the colour palette to be a bit darker and maybe changing the background to look a bit horror-esque to, to really... It just, it just doesn't work for me. I think you need to build everything from the ground up, make it look really unique, make it look really, you know, in keeping with the horror theme, uh, just so that it, it thematically sort of ties together. But at the moment, it just doesn't. Um, there's a big focus on boss battles in this in particular, so you really want to be going into a boss battle with the most health you can, 
so that you can take as many hits as possible otherwise it becomes a real real challenging little thing but at the same time you do the boss enough times and you do learn the patterns quite well and eventually you'll beat it you don't have any lives to worry about so you can get as many attempts at any boss as you want so that's quite nice as well very forgiving in that regard um, but yeah, not really in keeping with the games it's inspired by though. Castlevania would have a very strict sort of two life limit. Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts in particular is basically two hits and you're out. So um, yeah, it's it's not as challenging as those games. So yeah, a little bit more forgiving in that regard. If they're really going for that Castlevania Ghouls and Ghosts style, um, you know, difficulty, then they're not really hitting it with the inf infinite lives there. Um, but yeah, so that's Hellfire Saga. A bit of a strange one. I don't know if I can recommend it. I do like what it's doing mechanically. I think it is a very challenging game, and I think having a health gauge makes you play it quite differently. But at the same time, I just don't feel like there's... It, need, it needs to be something else other than a Sonic game. It, it can't be a Sonic game because it just doesn't suit it. It really looks weird having Sonic in our grimdark horror environment. And um, yeah, it just, it just doesn't fit the character at all. You need a character that fits that environment. You need stages that look you know, in keeping with the theme that you've gone with as well. So this this needs a bit more work, unfortunately. 